Shares of the renewable energy investor Hassey are up almost 40 percent month to date after they reported top and bottom line beats on November 2nd. And that's despite some of its biggest clients, solar firms, getting a beating this year amid rising rates and fears about the broader economy. Enphase, Sunrun, SunPower for solar, they're all down double digits in the past six months. Enphase by 40 percent. Despite seeing a big rebound last week when CPI came in cooler than expected, what does this say about the state of the industry and is solar investable right now? Let's ask my next guest, whose firm is all about investing in clean energy. Joining me for an exclusive interview is Jeffrey Lipson, the CEO of Hassey. Jeffrey, welcome. Thank you for having me on, Kelly. You think markets are overly punishing this uh, space or is it is it deservedly so? I think it's overly punishing. I think the energy transition is a long-term megatrend, and these are short-term headwinds. And I think the interest rates in particular are causing uh, significant challenges for the way these companies are viewed, but they are essentially able to pass on these higher energy, these higher interest rate costs through higher prices of the energy, and it remains competitive with the alternatives. So a new equilibrium will be found at these higher interest rates, and, and most of these companies will do quite well because of the long-term macro trend. Explain to me what it means that your company invests in renewable energy assets, but not you know, the underlying companies themselves. What is the purpose of that? What does that mean? So we're a climate-positive investor at the project level. So we invest in contracted cash flows of underlying projects. So as examples on utility-scale solar projects, we will partner with our sponsors like AES and Clearway and NG to provide a slice of capital that fundamentally allows the project to be built. And we achieve our return by the energy being sold to the offtaker on the project. Likewise, on the distributed side, uh, our clients like Sunrun and SunPower are installing rooftop solar and entering into leases with homeowners. And we're providing financing for those underlying leases. So we're collateralized by contracted cash flows, which gives us a lower risk and predictable business model. And that's why Morgan Stanley recently said that you guys shouldn't be lumped together with some of those other businesses, um, because and maybe you can explain this, but they were saying that, you know, in many cases, 90 to 90 percent of these costs are fixed upon the contract signing. Could that go poorly if the economy takes a turn for the worse, if rates continue to do what they're doing? Uh, could those contracted cash flows not materialize? That's highly unlikely. Our off-takers are very incented. They're, they're, first of all, they're contracted, so they're obligated to pay. Second of all, they're incented to pay because in the projects that we invest, they're obtaining energy at a lower cost than they'd be able to obtain it otherwise. And so they're highly incented to continue to make the payment. You know, as an example, we're seeing very strong demand from data centers that are mm -hmm being built as a result of all the data storage that's required for AI, and that's just increasing clean energy demand across the board. No, that seems like a massive source uh, of future demand. So let me then ask you, and, and it's interesting to think about how maybe you're one of the rare players that could benefit from lower solar prices. Obviously, a lot of the direct uh, supply chain is getting hit by that. But do you think lower solar price, ultimately good for the consumer, will increase adoption? It certainly will. Adoption is generally occurs when, when the price is lower. And all the levelized cost of energy studies will show that renewables are indeed the, the lowest course, uh, the lowest cost source of energy going forward. And that will increase adoption. It will increase the number of projects being constructed, which will increase the total addressable market for us and allow our business to continue to grow as well. 